now. Okay, we're going to go through installing your loaner Primovert microscope. Once you get everything unpacked and out on a bench, it should look just like this. You've got the microscope here. This is your condenser, your objectives, power supply, camera adapter, stage insert, camera and cable, phase slider, and this is the one tool you're going to need to install the microscope. First thing you want to start off is removing the um, styrofoam from under the nose piece here. It's in there for shipping. So using the focus, move the nose piece up, pull this styrofoam piece out. Keep this because when you ship it back, you're going to need to put it back in there and crank the nose piece down on it. So take this out, set it to the side, and keep it for later. Next, you can install your objectives. You're just going to install them in successive order. So I'll grab the 4X objective. We're just going to go right through the hole in the stage. No alignment here. They just screw right into the nose piece. You don't have to get just hand tight, no tighter than that. Okay, so just one after the another, screw the objectives in. Okay. Next, you can plug in your power supply. This is your power supply here. Let's get to the back of the microscope. It only goes in one spot. Make sure that's in there nice and securely. Push that in, you know, make sure it clicks into place. This end is just going to plug into the wall outlet. Next, you can install your stage. This little side with the bump on it goes down. The bump goes into this little groove. So you just push it in there, move it around until it clicks. This should be all level. Next, you can put on your condenser. The condenser has this part on it, which you can pull off. That's just a dust plug. So pull that off. Again, save this for later because when you ship it back, you just want to slide it on like that to ship it back. So we'll pull that off. This is the part you need the tool for. Right? The condenser just slides right onto this track here. It's, it's pretty obvious. It just lines up and slides right in. That's it. Push it in. And then on the side right here, this is what tightens it down. Use your wrench. Tighten it down. That's all. Now your condenser is in there. Your phase slider slides into the condenser. So from either side, just slide it right in. And it's got three clicks in there. Okay. And lastly, we're going to install the camera. It's got a dust plug on it. So take your dust plug off the camera and screw your adapter right onto there. All right. Just threads right on. Next, right here, take the dust plug off of this, loosen this thumb screw, pull the dust plug off, set the camera right on there. Tighten with the thumb screw. That's it. Now this is just the cable. This end goes into the camera and tightens with those. You can only do it one way. There's two holes on the camera. Either of them will work. This end goes into the computer. To use the microscope, this is the on-off switch right here. You're just going to turn it on. The intensity control is on the other side, right here. This turns the light up and down. And the only control you need to worry about is the phase slider, right here. Okay. This has got two positions on it. The middle position, phase zero, that's only used for the 4X objective to do phase. This position, phase one, is used for 10, 20, and 40X objectives to do phase. The open position here is used for bright field. So you have bright field, phase at 4x, and phase at every other objective. So you can just reinsert that, and this is how you use it. This is your aperture diaphragm here for phase contrast. 
It's the little lever sticking off the front of your condenser. For phase contrast, just make sure that's open. That's it. You shouldn't have any other trouble using this. The camera port is a fixed beam split, so it's sharing light with the eyepieces. You don't have to pull or push anything to direct light to the camera. And the only other thing you'll need to do is launch the software and operate the camera. Okay, thank you.